trailer. Um, the genre will be a biographical documentary like Diana or like The Grace of Monaco, which is yet to be released, but has got a trailer. And they're kind of about documenting films like, but using different actors, not actually using the same person. That fits for that. My target audience will be the fans of the artist. And anyone's interested, but this is kind of like a nice picture of um, like the general audience that this artist will play for. So they're kind of a high profile artist. So I think the amount of people here that actually care about them all over the world, so if they do like 100 shows on their world tour, there's that many people and it's 20,000 person in the arena. So I think that many people are actually going to watch the film. And that's going to be guaranteed audience. The budget, it will have high profile, we haven't quite established what kind of budget yet because it's either going to be a collection of records like Beyonce, like the start of June, or we could use an ADOS cast, which is something that I'd rather consider because it's more like Grace and go just got the cold kidney in and stuff like that. Okay. The narrative of the film will be in equilibrium, so it's kind of going down, so it's not a rags to riches, it's kind of a, which is a rags to it. Um, and it will be from Alia, the character that makes him in Sonic, she says a real story, she died in a plane crash, tragic. Um, and basically it's her fall from fact, I'm dramatising the story a little bit, so she's kind of got addiction problems, and she's kind of got a personal problem. And we use two actors as well to try and start with. The selling point, and the unique selling point of the film, is that it's the first ever reveal real story which has kind of been supported by her old record companies and her old managers who still sell her records. The stage to the trailer is the first part of the trailer, so it's the teaser trailer, so it will be around a minute and also a minute and a half. So at first it will establish kind of her level of fame, so maybe like red carpets and stuff like that, when she's kind of dressed in more of a glamorous exterior, and then you kind of get into more of a deep, section of the trailer which is where she'll be like smoking marijuana and um like drink problems and you know all that shit um, and and then it'll go on to death which i'm not kind of i'm considering where i'm gonna have the audio at the moment but i'm using real footage of audio from like when the news reporters reports their death Okay, the characters are Alia, which is the star, then Click, which is her kind of um, posse, um, which is one of the rappers. She's actually used to be Jay-Z's girlfriend. Okay, Ratchets. Basically, Ratchets are people in the industry, like women, this is women, the Click are the rappers, the rappers like her. The Ratchets are basically other divas who kind of compete with her. So that's kind of a con contribution to how she felt in her fame. These were the actors. <laughs> They're not actors. <laughs> this is the title of the film. This is actually one of the names of one of her songs. And it's called Don't Think They Know. And it's recently been redone by Chris Brown who has also got her lyrics, her vocals inside of it. But um, I kind of like this one. This is one that I've made on defonts.com. And um, I can't remember what it's called. It's been called like JD or something like that. But I like the kind of informalness of it. It reminds me of like writing a song. Okay, locations will typically be, like I said at the beginning, will be a red carpet. So the glamour side of her thing. And then it'll be a dark recording studio. So she's kind of write dark, begins to write dark songs, and that's what I use the different actors for. So it's kind of competing between each other. Okay, the pace. I begin slow with narrative and context. So at the beginning, you'll kind of see who it is. And what I'm basing the film on is that you'll know who the person is, so you won't necessarily have to explain it. So like Diana or Grace of Monaco, you know, you know, everyone knows who Diana is. So you, you don't really have to say her name straight away. So it begins slow with the glamour, I'm thinking the glamour side first. 
And I was also thinking that the audio of the new support is for death, so you obviously people know the context of death and people are doing the film after. And the pace kind of gradually builds up when she kind of you see the cracks. And then there's a more of a climatic ending, but there's no visual, it's black screen, and then you go onto the audio, which is I think it's more dramatic and effective. And then the title at the very end. Um, basically, the music for the film will be Kanye West, all of the lights seem to move, and then it will kind of mix in with the news reporters who reports the death, and kind of have different effects between like media coverage for the death, 